Coming up, we'll tell you what we know about the investigation into a deadly shooting in western Sioux Falls. And a fiery crash west of Sioux Falls leaves two people dead. The new information we are learning about the crash. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A 36-year-old Sioux Falls man is dead after suffering multiple gunshot wounds. Sioux Falls police found the man in a crashed car near 57th and Marion early Thursday morning. Police also responded to reports of gunshots in the area, including near 56th and Bainberry. Investigators say the incidents may be related. If you know anything about what happened in the area, you should call Crime Stoppers at 367-7007 or use the P3 Tips app. Two people are dead after two pickups collided along Highway 42 near Wall Lake. The South Dakota Highway Patrol says both pickups started on fire after the crash. A 59-year-old man and a 24-year-old man died at the scene. Authorities are still investigating the cause of the crash. Several fire departments responded to a large slew fire in northwest Beetle County Wednesday. The Wolsey Firefighter Association was one of the agencies that responded. They posted these pictures on Facebook saying it took seven hours to get the fire out. The Beetle County Emergency Management says standing water and soft ground in the slough made it hard for crews to reach the fire. Officials believe it was sparked by an ATV. Last night, the Westington Springs Volunteer Fire Department was called to a combine fire. The department posted these pictures of the scene to its Facebook page. The department says the damage from the fire was contained to the combine. No injuries have been reported. The cause of the fire is under investigation. The dry weather is increasing the fire danger in many parts of Kelloland. This is just one grass fire crews are battling. Minnehaha County's emergency management manager says the fire north of Corson may be harvest related. Now let's see how long these dry conditions will last with meteorologist Scott Munt. Well, it looks like we'll uh, watch for that next best chance for rain. We'll say late in the day Sunday and some of us it may extend into early Monday morning. But in the meantime, we'll continue with dry and very warm conditions. I'm talking temperatures in the 70s and 80s straight through the weekend. We could have a couple of areas hit the lower 90s. Now, as I mentioned, the rain starts late Sunday, last into early Monday morning and turning cooler next week, especially for the second half of next week and even next weekend. More details on the Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. Thanks, Scott. A local rancher got quite a surprise Wednesday night when she checked her security camera and noticed some movement and that her horses were restless. That's when Linda Hansen grabbed her rifle and headed outside. Shortly after going out, she realized there were three coyotes on her property. The coyotes began growling and approaching her. Hansen decided to stand her ground and shot the coyotes. You can get a closer look at the security video on Kelloland.com. You no longer have to drop off your absentee ballots during business hours, only in Minnehaha County. The auditor's office installed two stainless steel drop boxes in downtown Sioux Falls on Thursday. One is located outside the election center at 6 and Dakota. The other is in the parking lot of the county administration building next door. The drop boxes are open 24 hours a day. Voters say they're a convenient and safe way to cast their ballots ahead of election day. I really like it. Um, I like it that I, I could find it easily. There are signs out, out on the street telling me where the absentee voting is. And then this box is good. It feels safe and secure. So. The drop boxes have two sets of locks and are bolted to the ground. The auditor will collect the ballots at least once a day. Students at the state's public universities return to campus back in August. Now the semester is about halfway done. Due to the pandemic, the colleges did make adjustments to keep students and staff safe while on campus. School officials say they're happy with the extra measures everyone is taking. Faculty putting in a little extra effort, students putting in an extra effort, uh, but it's more or less it's working. And I think that's one of the things that we're kind of proud of. And again, with a fair amount of confidence that we'll be able to move forward. He says they plan to run classes to Thanksgiving and then have remote exams after that. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. All right, weather it is. And you can see here, uh, well, some changes for the weekend. First of all, Sunday night, there may be some thunderstorms. And in fact, the chance of severe weather with a few of those cells. I-29 and into southwest Minnesota. And uh, that's probably our best, well, at least right now, the highest chance of that happening. Again, we'll continue to watch those trends. Let's look at your weekend. Southerly winds will be pushing the mercury higher. I think Sioux Falls will ratchet back to the 80s on Sunday afternoon ahead of the main cold front. As that comes on in, you can see some of these thunderstorm cells firing up according to this. And again, that's been kind of the thinking 
last couple of days is that the far eastern areas would probably see the best chances of rain. And then this whole system will slide east and cooler weather, not cold, but cooler weather will follow. Let's go to your forecast today. 87 degrees near record levels today in Sioux Falls. 79 in Rapid City. We should uh, fall in the middle and upper 40s tonight and then tomorrow. We'll return to the 70s in many areas and that's still well above normal. 60s early next week, Sioux Falls area with a chance of rain lingering early Monday morning. Otherwise, I would still say most of the early part of the week near normal and in some cases still above normal. Aberdeen, you have a chance of rain, but you noticed on Futurecast the best bets are a little east. So Pier and Rapid City might be a little hard to come by these shower chances Sunday night into Monday. Still a couple could be around, but windy, yes. I would expect full winds out of the northwest on Sunday in Rapid City. Well, check out the rest of our forecast with our Storm Center update right now at Kettleland.com and have yourself a great Friday.